Hello everybody, this is Vermont Survivalist and just going through my gear and I'll show you what I have. Um, I saw my Civil War gear. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, this goes in my knapsack. It's just a, a linen insert. Um, it has extra cordage in here for my uh, half shelter. And this is my neck neckerchief right here. Um, I got like two to three of these uh, type handkerchiefs. Um, great pot holders, stuff like that. Um, get my knife here. Just a, just like a butcher's knife. A thing of fat wood. They carry. Also, just good for patch, patchwork, and all that. Reinforce your, uh, your crotch area. Um, large, large tin cup. Um, I go with a large tin cup because one, it's large. So, uh, and I see a lot of guys using these small ones, which is all fine. But these large ones, you know, hold more, more liquid. So I go with that. Um, frying pan. Uh, I have seen a lot of stuff on frying pans, how they're not, um, they're not correct. Bullshit. Um, some soldiers bought their own frying pan, you know what I mean? Or they brought one from home. A small skillet like this uh, was not uncommon. Um, it was a personal buy. The army did not issue it. So, so there we go. Um, socks. I have four pairs of socks. I am looking to get six pair grand total of socks. Um, socks are super important. Especially if you're an infantryman living on your feet. Uh, we'll go. Got a lantern right there. This is a tin lantern. Um, it's also my looking glass. Um, but put a candle in there. Lights up the nice half shelter. Lights up that half shelter, like like no problem. Um, right here, got my pocket knife. I usually keep on me. Powder flask, hard tack, of course. Um, pistol, muzzle loading pistol. Um, I just select a pistol to carry. Uh, I don't carry outside my pants. I carry inside my pants. I usually select this one because it has the hook. So. That's just a personal personal selection. Um, this right here is an 1860 Colt. I do carry this bad boy on me. This uh, ace gun here. Um, what else? Stakes. I carry my own stakes on me at all times. Uh, simple fact, I don't want to go out. And I don't want to be hunting for stakes in the middle of the night. A thing of wax. The wrapper needs to come off. I know. Uh, beeswax. Got my half shelter here. Right here. Um, I don't know. It's just the half shelter. It's really nothing to brag about. Um, wool blanket. Uh, that's really not much to say about a wool blanket. Canteen right there. Uh, that's probably one of my most important things. Keep that full. Um, no matter what you do, if you happen to be by a water source, or whatever always fill your canteen no matter what no matter what and if your canteen's already filled fill up your cup and just make sure you have that full of water and just drink um, hydration is like super important especially when you're wearing wool brogans most uncomfortable thing ever uh, for a bunch of infantrymen that live on their feet these things are fucking so uncomfortable it's ridiculous um, but yeah, I cheated. I put insoles in. <laughs> so, uh, let's see here. Forge hat. Goes without saying what those things are for. Trousers, all wool. Um, I do have the drawers, but I'm repairing them. I, I have a blowhole in them. Quite big one, too. Uh, extra shirt, white shirt. Um, I usually wear this shirt or that shirt right there. Haversack, I'll make a separate video, what's in my haversack. 
Um, belt, waist belt, well, not a waist belt, but something to hold the cartridge, uh, cartridge box, and the haversack in the place. Um, my cap belt, pretty much, bayonet belt. Uh, the bayonet's on back order. I actually had to use a Sergeant Major's bayonet, which is pretty cool that he let me use it. Poncho, or gum blanket, um, this thing's fucking awesome. Uh, it's, it's really worth its weight in gold. Uh, many uses for it, many, many, many uses for it, and I'll go through it in a separate video. Cartridge box, uh, ball starter right there. Uh, I do live shoots, and stuff like that, uh, live round shoots, so that thing comes in handy. Um, and also makes a great stir. Um, inside the cartridge box, got the tins, but I carry extra cartridge paper inside this pouch here. Um, it's just a good, good idea. You're not going to really lose anything, and really, who cares about cartridge paper? Um, I got some more cartridge paper behind the tins. Um, it's just good to reload, have that to have that opportunity to reload your cartridges. But I also got some pipe cleaners for my uh, vent, for my vent on my 1861 um, musket. Um, yep, and here we go. This is the 1861 musket. I have not cleaned it. I'm going to make a video of me cleaning this. Um, that's why I haven't cleaned it yet. And my fatigue blouse. Uh, also known... In the reenacting world, as a sack coat, oh, the silver mount button I got from the captain. Um, they really weren't called sack coats at all uh, back back in those days. They just called them fatigue blouses. So I don't know why people call them sack coats if it's not what they would called it. Um, I do carry yeah, this right here. Um, it's a compass and a <laughs> and a sundial. Um, I do carry it. Uh, it's just something I carry. Um, I always carry a compass, so I carry one. Um, and I really don't care about the repercussions of it. So there we go. That's my Civil War gear. Um, again, with a canteen. Um, always have a canteen filled. Uh, you don't want to fall out. Uh, for food items, I didn't really extravagant on food items. Um, the hard tack is pretty much it. Uh, well, I, you know, I we have our own food. Um, food is everywhere, so you know what I mean. Especially if you're out in the bush. All right, so there we go. That's my uh, that's my Civil War gear um, that I carry. And next video will be on the illustrious haversack. So that's it. From Mount Survivors, good to go.